place at the gate without knowledge. A lot of graduates today are out of university, they cannot know the director of a company. If you want to get scholarship, you must know somebody who knows somebody. There is something that is gotten on very But I know there was a country that I read in the 60s, in the 50s, I was working. When the white men were here, things were working. You can write to a governor and they don't know replying you anymore. You write to the commission of police, they will reply you. Today, if you don't know the commission of police, why are you going to get nearer to the state command? Nobody will hear you. So how can we have a country that nothing is working? Unless you know somebody cannot get anything from very And that is not the country we should build. We must build a country that works on very Where things begin to work, where all our sectors begin to function. And you and I have a role to play in making Nigeria to function. And that's why we're saying that you must study very hard, work very hard, and pass on very And the country is waiting for you. And it's ready to make you, make you one of the greatest men and women who have lived in this nation. And if you believe me, let us give ourselves a round of applause once again. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much, my staff. Hello, my name is Pamela Umebwani. I run a fitness center, and at the moment, you are watching Win TV. You're watching Win TV. You're watching Win TV, the right place. Right time to watch on Win TV. Welcome. If a young man, a young woman, start cheating, right from primary school to secondary to university, of course the person will cheat all the rest of his life. There is nothing that he will really do by way of hard work. So the, the culture of laziness, the, the culture of man no man, must be eliminated in the system. We must imbibe in our youth that you must work hard. And there is no other choice, there is no other alternative for you to become great in life other than working. So what do you think about the idea of local content? Things that are very cultural, things that are historical to us, we must begin to reflect them. But that also has to come with the issue of education. How many, what is the percentage we are putting on education? Because the issue of the UNESCO say 26% of your annual budget must be budgeted for education. How many? The issue of any nation that want to make develop, that want to develop and progress, issue of science and technology must be taken into, into, into account. It can't develop without science and technology. How many people are encouraged to go into science? How many people are encouraged to go into uh, technology? Must everyone be a lawyer? Must wow. everyone be an accountant? Wow. So issue of science and technology, I'm making this thing you're talking about, you know, local content of social media. Because the world is revolved around science and tech, my brother. Oh. And these guys are wasting or putting billions on science and technology. On research, how much money is your government setting aside for research? Very good question. Not, no, not much. And so there is no way you can make these things, localize this content of social media you're talking about, without uh, research, without tech, science and technology. So we must redirect our education. We must refocus our education. Whenever you're watching us all around the world, we just had a unique one with a resource person for this unique event, mm -hmm. uh, all about my practice, and this is Kotsi, uh, Nigerian Orientation Agency, Ikeja, local government. It's a pleasure. Thank you, my so brother. You it is my pleasure. Time.